Okay, lovely people, we're gonna make some homemade custard. Of course you can buy it, but it will never taste like homemade. So, it's really simple ingredients. We've got some single cream, we've got some milk, sugar, egg yolks, and some vanilla. And a little bit of help from a beautiful pan. I'm using this opportunity to big up my Jamie Oliver by Tefal range of hard anodized ceramic pans. They're beautiful and perfect for making this. So, on a medium high heat we go. In with the milk, I've got 500 milliliters, or pretty much a pint of milk into a pan. This will make enough custard for six to eight people, depending on how generous you are. I'm gonna go in with 500 mils to 600 mils of cream here. Now, traditionally you'd use double cream. I'm just making it a little bit more skinny with single cream. Uh, and I've got a nice little trick to help you keep it nice and thick and silky a little bit later. So that's gonna come up to the heat. What we need to do is get the tip of the knife to go into the vanilla bean, and I'm just gonna slowly bring my knife down. And once you've done that, you've exposed it. And it's very simple. You lay it on its back with the seeds facing you. And then I'm just gonna run my knife along the length of the pod. And guys, that's what it's all about. That is the beauty, that's the joy of cooking because that little amount makes all the difference. So I'm gonna put that on the edge and in it goes. And then the second bit, scraping it down, in it goes. And then you can either plop this in as well or pop it in a jar of sugar to make vanilla scented sugar. Beautiful, let's bring that up to a simmer. In the meantime, we're gonna go in here. I've separated eight lovely free range eggs. We need just the yolks and that's to thicken it uh, and make it lovely and silky. So add five tablespoons of sugar to the bowl and then we wanna whisk it up and you wanna cream those egg yolks. And you know when it's done, when it's gone nice and pale and silky. Now, if you wanna kind of do what I've done and use a single cream, what you can do for a nice little trick is use just a teaspoon of corn flour. And what that does is just work with the custard to make it silky and to thicken it beautifully. So of course, if you go for the double cream, you don't need it. If you go for the single cream, it really helps to get the same consistency. So in it goes, you'll whisk it in, no lumps at all. We're gonna let this just simmer away in the saucier for about five minutes, just to get all of that flavor out of the vanilla, and then I'll show you the next bit. What we wanna do in a custard is not just make something sort of sweet and vanilla-y and delicious, we want it to be silky and smooth. So we do that by taking a little bit of the hot milk to the eggs first and pouring that in there. Just about, you know, a splash of it and then whisking it in. And then that way it doesn't shock the eggs, we can whisk it in. And then once that's all mixed up, then we can go back in to the milk and then we're just gonna do little figures of eight. And that just turns the custard over so it's being heated really evenly. And it's on a low heat, so it's quite gentle. And we'll let that cook for sort of two, three, four minutes. Okay, so the custard is done. And what better to serve with custard than a gorgeous apple crumble? Come on, but before we go there, come and check this. I like to test it by checking the back of a spoon, putting your finger through it like that. And if you hold it, if it doesn't run, Perfect, a lovely, lovely consistency. So, absolutely delicious, a classic. If you want the recipe, go to jamieoliver.com and check it out. Let's go to the corner. This is my favorite bit, because you get double crispy bits. And of course, then you want your beautiful custard. Silky smooth, full of flavor from the vanilla. Absolutely beautiful. So, lovely people, if you want to know more about my gorgeous tea fail range, then look in the information box below and check it all out. It's an amazing range, really lovely to cook on. And the custard, well, enjoy. Mm.